talk to you today about how and what you do. Years ago, I served as a head designer at a technology organization. Back then, I had all these external symptoms of corporate success. I had a big team reporting to me. Uh, fancy five-star wine and wine was part of my life. I had a fantastic designation. 51 weeks a year, I traveled to meet top corporate executives and shake hands with them. Yet, if you wanted to know how excited I was on Monday morning to go to work, this video is how I went to my work every every Monday morning. Self to work on every Monday morning. Make no mistake, if you are thinking this was my level of excitement all through the week, you couldn't be more mistaken. When it was Friday and it was time to break for the weekend, this is how excited I was. I was just waiting for that weekend to start and even if there was fire in the workplace, I would just run away from work. Really, I was all excited about what I was doing. Then I made this big surprising discovery. A lot of people in the corporate world were exactly like me. They all dressed very well. They were not excited about what they were doing either. I chose to do something about my problem. My quest to find out why I was not excited about what I was doing and why I couldn't find fulfillment and meaning in my work led me to research neurosciences or the science of functioning of the human brain. It was there that I came across the concept of smart work as the foundation to finding fulfillment and meaning in everything you do and in work. I can explain smart work by giving you a small illustration. A bunch of woodcutters was tasked with chopping trees in the forest. One of the woodcutters apparently took the maximum number of breaks but turned in the maximum amount of wood. Whereas the other woodcutters that worked a lot longer produced a lot lesser. A detailed investigation revealed the reason for this anomaly. The woodcutter who took the maximum breaks used his breaks to sharpen the axe. With a sharp axe, he was able to be a lot more productive, producing more by working less. I was excited when I heard this concept of producing more by working less. I wanted to work smart. I wanted to understand what smart work translates to in colloquial life. Neurosciences helped me understand that the entire science of smart work is all about producing three chemicals in the brain in the right proportion. Dopamine, oxytocin and serotonin. I am going to go through these ones briefly. Dopamine is the chemical of motivation. Starting from the simplest motivation in life, like the one required for you to get up in the morning or to have your food, on to motivation required for academic or work pursuits, or motivation required for you to listen to me right now or for me to talk. Everything needs dopamine flowing in the brain. Also called the happiness or reward chemical, dopamine creates feelings of happiness or euphoria every time it floods the brain. The first secret to working smart in life is to produce enough dopamine in the brain naturally. Now how do you do that? Dopamine is not your servant. It is not going to listen to your instructions to start flowing. How do you trick your brain to produce enough dopamine naturally? To understand this simple thing, think about a time when you worked on an assignment that you were excited about. Any assignment could be academic assignment, work, sports, fun, anything but the one that you did from your heart, not one that you were forced into doing by someone else. Think about how you felt when you worked on this assignment. Very likely you were excited and you were so absorbed in this assignment that you lost sense of your time. Hours felt like minutes and work happened effortlessly. Why? Because when you're excited about something, dopamine starts flowing in the brain naturally. And when dopamine flows, it creates feelings of happiness, euphoria and excitement. Since you like these feelings, you work even more. Now a virtuous cycle of exciting work, dopamine and happiness starts getting created in the brain. Any work that you do in this state of mind, is of the highest quality, 
you are at the peak of your productivity and you start finding fulfillment and meaning in whatever you do you are in the zone right now contrast that with working on an assignment that is simply dull boring and you never want to do that one what happens at this point well there's a low flow of dopamine you are demotivated because of sheer mental strain you feel like you're working very hard looked at from neuroscience's perspective hard work has nothing to do with the number of hours that you work you can work long hours on an extremely interesting assignment and not at all feel tired versus working just a short duration on a dull boring assignment and feel completely tired why because of dopamine flows so the first secret to working smart like i said is to produce enough dopamine in the brain naturally by doing what you do not what you're forced into doing otherwise hard work will drastically bring down your productivity over time if you need to maintain productivity at steady levels you have to work smart now how do you know if you're working smart every single day today onwards as you go about your life as you go about your assignments ask yourself three questions every single day when you get up in the morning are you excited to go to your work or whatever you do or do you find yourself dragging yourself to work like we saw in that video question 2 for a major part of the working day are you absorbed in your work or are you disinterested in your work answer them honestly why do you do what you do do you do them for all external factors like a fancy job title money car corner office academic or peer pressure and these kinds of things or do you do them for the sheer joy of work because you love doing it if you answered extrinsic factors or you are not interested in what you are doing genuinely it is time to move on life is too short to work on things that are not in line with your passion purpose or interest in fact the longer you spend your time working on anything that is not in line with your passion or purpose you deprive your brain of dopamine reduce your motivation and reduce feelings of fulfillment and meaning in everything you do it could even impact your health drastically all right so you're working on assignments that are in line with your strengths passion and purpose leads to dopamine flow your first secret of smart work is master are you set for your life well like a star in the movie that needs a supporting star cast for it to perform well the star of your brain dopamine needs a supporting star cast of neurochemicals for it to perform well oxytocin and serotonin are just that to understand oxytocin's role back to the assignment that you were excited about you do a wonderful job in your assignment and perhaps now it is time to present to someone maybe your professor at institution or maybe your boss at work but you don't get along with your professor at work you don't see eye to eye with your boss you don't get along with your colleagues how do you feel now oh you still excited about your work but all the poor human relationships are a distraction and you can't seem to run away from this distraction there is no field of endeavor where you won't encounter fellow human beings and interactions with them at some point in time or the other learning to build smooth working relationships with people is a mandatory requirement for working smart or using the language of the brain releasing enough oxytocin in the brain is the second pillar of working smart oxytocin is the chemical of trust once released in the brain it reduces feelings of tension insecurity worry and multiplies feelings of trust oxytocin takes the peak productivity achieved individually with dopamine and multiplies it many fold by adding team collaboration components very important chemical now how do you release oxytocin in the brain this is not as difficult as it seems take a look at this simple video of babies even they know how to release oxytocin
a warm handshake, a smile on the face, a pat on the back, a warm hug, and having the best interest of the other people in your heart in everything you do goes a long way in releasing the right levels of oxytocin in your brain, smoothing up your relationships with your fellow colleagues. So you have dopamine because of the good work that's in line with your passion that you're doing and oxytocin which helps you strengthen relationships. But to sustain this long term, you need something else. And to explain the concept of sustenance, think about a time when you went on a vacation to a place that you were excited about. Any place that you like, I will take the example of Hawaii. Sun-kissed beaches, stunning scenery, just the right weather. You are excited as you plan your vacation to Hawaii. You are all set, dopamine starts flowing in the brain because you are excited about what you are doing right now. And on the day of your flight, you land at the airport. But you miss your flight. You wait at the airport for a lot of hours and take the next flight. But due to delays, you miss the connecting flight. And now you land in Hawaii 24 hours late. Next morning, you are set for your vacation, but your wallet is gone. Your money is stolen. You call the bank for emergency cash and the cash arrives 48 hours late and now you miss seeing some spots in Hawaii. If you are the protagonist of this story, how do you feel now? You are still excited about Hawaii. You wanted to go there. There is dopamine in the brain. But all the unpleasant surprises and the delays have left you in a foul mood or using the language of the brain, all the excitement that has been caused by high dopamine flows has been tempered down by low serotonin flows. Serotonin is a chemical that does a lot of things in your brain, one of which is to maintain you at the right level of mood. If you ever find yourself feeling moody, undergoing mood swings, or suddenly feeling low or depressed, your serotonin levels in your brain are going down. You need to do something to perk them up quickly. Serotonin, like dopamine and oxytocin, is not going to listen to your commands to start flowing. But a few simple techniques can definitely help release serotonin. Basking in the sunlight by being outdoors, giving right physical exercise to your body perhaps by walking or running, and eating the right kinds of food goes a long way in releasing the right levels of serotonin in the brain, ensuring that you stay in a cheerful disposition. Dopamine, oxytocin and serotonin are the three key pillars of working smart that eventually lead to fulfillment and meaning in work and in life. Dopamine is like electricity. Used correctly, it can light up your life, but it can also cause a shock if not used right. Oxytocin and serotonin provide the insulation of good human relationships and the right mood to ensure that dopamine continues to keep you excited on an ongoing basis. If this is smart work, what is sharpening the axe? Every axe needs to be sharpened. In the language of the brain, sharpening the axe is all about giving your brain the right kind of rest, that is sleep. Nothing damages the brain more than not giving enough rest and sleep to the brain. And in the language of the brain, it is not the number of hours that you sleep that's important, but it is how sound, unbroken and peaceful your sleep is in those hours. That matters a lot. Even a few hours of peaceful, sound and unbroken sleep is a lot more relaxing to the brain than hours of extremely disturbed sleep. They talk on sleep is a separate talk in itself, but I'll tell you a few simple techniques that can help ensure that you have a peaceful night's sleep. Practicing yoga and meditation on an ongoing basis. Keeping electronic gadgets away before, after and during your sleep. Reading a positive mental attitude book just before you go to bed. Keeping away from antagonistic activities or fights or quarrels. And spending time with your loved ones are some of the techniques that will ensure that you will have a peaceful night's sleep on an ongoing basis. So dopamine, oxytocin, serotonin with the sharpening of the axe caused by giving the right rest to your brain are the key pillars of working smart, ensuring that you have fulfillment. As I end my talk on smart work, 
I wanted to leave you with a simple thought. For years, people tended to believe that smart work is some esoteric concept which all depends on the outside. If I get this job, that salary, these perks, that promotion, this kind of a car, or maybe appreciation from my professor or boss, I will be happy. I will be excited. I will be fulfilled in my life. Neurosciences tells us that your happiness, your excitement, your fulfillment is inside. It's about releasing the right chemicals in your own brain and giving your brain enough rest. The longer you spend your life chasing all the things on the outside, you will miss the fulfillment in, the, in your own brain. But if you focus on the inside, everything you wanted on the outside will be yours. Millennia ago, Philosophers said, know thyself. In today's age of artificial intelligence and robotics, the same thing holds true. Know thyself. Understand yourself. Understand your brain. Understand the concepts of smart work. Give your brain the right kind of rest. And you will soon find that you will be excited day in, day out, day in, day out. And you will find fulfillment and deep meaning in work and in your life.